Thank you for being here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the last invention that humanity has to make to create AGI. Uh, it's, uh, it's only one mountain. Uh, it's a long one, but it's only one, I think. So who will actually create this AGI? Um, it turns out that it's actually going to be you. So if enough of you actually create and interact with games and interact with 3D environments, uh, what's going to happen is AI is going to learn about our physical world. It right now can converse with you in natural language, but it doesn't really understand the physical space and how to interact with our goals. So if enough of you interact in these interactive environments, it's going to uh, learn from that and bootstrap to get to AGI very, very quickly. So if you look at the current models, uh, they don't really understand the physical reality in the same ways. Things like chat GPT, image generation models, they take uh, all of human culture in, uh, on the internet in the form of text, and they basically train large neural nets uh, to predict either the next word or recreate the image or, the, or, or video. I think this is great. The models do learn an understanding of the world, uh, but they don't really have a rich understanding of uh, the physical world so that they can mentally simulate. They don't have a mental simulation model. So take this elephant for an instance. That has to reach high up. Uh, for it to do that, it has to kind of learn how to figure out how to move the block around, stand on it, and get there. Or a child who looks at a new Lego piece, uh, and you know, it can basically, as early as two years old, it's able to come up with a new goal. Uh, or an artist who can translate their imagination into reality by using all sorts of digital tools. So this capability, um, it's not here yet, but it's moving really, really fast. Um, uh, is not here. Once it's there, uh, AGI is basically very, very close. Mm -hmm. um, so imagine, you know, if this actually happens, if all of the text <coughs> on the web, and if all of the images, videos on the web were not just, you know, metadata's, but you could actually convert that into a 3D simulator and uh, be in it, uh, ask questions, uh, predict the future. It would have massive implications. So uh, one of the first ones is like you, you would be able to create games and movies just by typing text. Um, you would be able to basically have chatbots uh, that actually physically understand your goals, beliefs, desires. You would have, you know, your everyday products, you would just make them, 3D print them without knowing much about CAD. Um, and then, you know, AI will finally have common sense. Uh, it's been a dream for the last 50 years or more. Um, so humans, which, are, which basically is the quintessential AGI in the, in the known universe, uh, it actually has these abilities. So if you look at developmental psychology, uh, there are a few ways that humans are born uh, to basically pass out the world, things, things into objects, actions, spaces, uh, number systems, and social partners. And just from these few building blocks, we're able to get all of other human knowledge. Everything, science, physics, chemistry, math, art, everything comes out of these uh, innate substrates and learning mechanisms. You know, it helps you to uh, discover new goals, it helps you learn about uh, how to use new tools, uh, ground language, um, and also form social alliances. So, you know, now this is becoming possible because of three things that have happened in the last really just uh, two to three years, I would say. Uh, and all of those things are coming together. The first one is the idea of taking the real world and transferring, transferring that into a 3D model, a 3D simulation, right? So a baby, as young as like, you know, nine months old, is able to manipulate the world with, with their hands. Now we have AI systems that can do that by just like exploring the world uh, it can actually build a model of, of new objects that were never encountered before. Or scenes that basically, you know, uh, you can reimagine the scene uh, from places that you never experienced before. AI systems were not able to do this uh, until a few years ago at the level of fidelity that they can do now. You know, creating completely imaginary and impossible concepts like, you know, monkeys wearing VR glasses in, on Mars. This would have been insane uh, a few years ago, but now anyone can do this with DALI or stable diffusion. Uh, so taking your imagination and, and create, visualizing it in pretty rich fidelity uh, is, is a superpower. And uh, finally, uh, not just uh, uh, generating text, but we are beginning to have systems that can take text, generate code, and from that code, you know, uh, execute that into different environments. So, uh, for example, taking that code and running it into design tools, simulation tools, and actually creating scenarios. So here's an example of a system where a user types in create a wormhole using geometry nodes in Blender. Blender is, uh, is an art uh, uh, 3D design tool. Uh, create a green colored procedural ship in Blender, and then animate that uh, along a curve. Write me a program. And all these three things, uh, for a person who doesn't really know how to work with these tools so much, 
Uh, it's able to actually generate the content, the geometry. The system is able to help it generate code. Uh, and everything can be put together to actually create a full environment, right? The same principles here uh, of, you know, uh, uh, expressing yourself through very simple, natural uh, user interfaces, which is text, uh, to write, you know, your intent, uh, but then the system generating its code, uh, taking all, the, the, all of these objects were in the real world, right? And all of the, the game dynamics was programmed by just typing in text. Uh, so now, you know, we are at a point where AI systems are helping people with, you know, different skills level, like, you know, people who don't really know how to even build games. This is something that I made, uh, I, and I don't even know how to build games, right? Uh, so we can actually really fuse all of these things together, text, code, uh, language, 3D, uh, goals, beliefs, um, all of these things are coming together. So, you know, what can you do to help create AGI? I think there's a lot you can do. You are actually the, the driver behind it. So if enough people create and program things with AI co-pilots, it's going to happen. So if you look at, you know, there's a massive community now of people who create images, text, with Stable Diffusion, DALI, ChatGPT, and there's a growing community of people who are doing this. And I think as soon as they start doing this for 3D and uh, these interactive 3D worlds uh, and code, uh, we're going to see an explosion. Um, there's huge potential, and we are really interested in this, uh, of letting really young kids interact with these AI coding systems and generative models. Uh, and, you know, uh, th there are big community games like Roblox uh, where, uh, you know, there are millions of games and some of them are created by young children. So uh, children can learn uh, very quickly how to do programming, uh, creating content, but in turn, the AI will also learn how the human mind grows, right? So as we get to AGI, maybe there's a part to building AIs that are actually fundamentally safe because they would develop some form of empathy towards us. Thank you.